Definitely getting these for $22. Mike, are you learning the shoe game? Hell yeah, thank you, Jake. All Appreciate right. it. <laughs> So interesting, interesting find in my opinion. Uh, these Puma Ignites for 35 bucks. Basically, the colors really stood out to me. They actually look pretty cool. Got like these lace covers. So, and then I saw this on eBay right here. 140 bucks and 91% sold. 53 watching. That's crazy. So, this is a Puma, man. I don't know if this is for real or what. I have a hard time believing in Puma. Got the Julio Jones Madden figures. 21 on Amazon. Six bucks at Ross. Guys, just left work, uh, left the grocery store. Really wanted to go home, but there's a thrift store right here, Park Ave. I gotta go in. Crazy thing is, is the it always seems like the times you really don't want to go are the times you find the best stuff. So I'm gonna go in here, check it out, see what I can find. Put in that extra work. Separate the contenders from the pretenders. I mean, I don't know if that was ultimately worth it, but just got a pair of Mellow 1.5s in just about perfect condition for, I think it's 12 bucks. So it's definitely worth picking up. All right, I'm here with Mike, the thrifting Goomba. We're at Plato's Closet and we just both, when we found, yeah, go ahead and grab that one right there. So we found these two uh, Dallas Cowboy suede jackets. One's 25, one's 30. Uh, they're G3 um, NFL jackets, so we're thinking you at least get about at minimum 100 up to 200 bucks for these. So it's a pretty good find. And we got this uh, Vans off the wall North Face for 16 bucks. Um, might be able to get upwards to 100 bucks for this in used condition. So these are some good finds. All right, so next find is this pair of Jordan 7, size 8. Let's see what we got. Where's the price? 22 bucks. So these, at minimum on eBay, I mean, there's not a lot listed. Probably get at least 100 bucks, at least. So definitely getting these for $22. Mike, are you learning the shoe game? Hell yeah, thank you, Jake. All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, Salvation Army Family Store. Bring the wife and kids. We're going to the family store. So we got the Jordan 2 Concord. Seven bucks. This is a size 7Y. I mean, there isn't much value in these. You probably get like 40 bucks. Maybe. But, I mean, they're very good condition. For only seven bucks, I'm going to take them. If anything, I could like donate them to... Um, a kid shelter or something. I collect shoes for that, so uh, I'm picking these up for seven bucks. But great condition. What is this? That's some wild zebra ass boots. That's crazy. So here's a prime example of a fake Jordan 11, right here. First thing to look for, obviously, is the carbon fiber. And this isn't carbon fiber, it's just a print. So, dead giveaway. The shape is off. 
the 23 on the back is too wide and the little ball right here should be even with the middle of the 23 see this ball is way up at the top and the font on the tag is off way off too so once you familiarize yourself with these it's pretty easy to spot a fake and these are very light too get out of here all right next up Goodwill. The key to getting fines at Goodwill is getting a cart right away to let the Goodwill gods know you're ready to shop. Okay, so maybe I was wrong about the cart. Alright, so we got these motorcycle riding pants, first gear, Hypertex, Sheltex. Uh, these are motorcycle riding pants. I uh, saw the exact same pair, exact same size, sold for 75 bucks. So, and these are seven bucks. Got that N64 Zelda. All right, guys. So on my way out, I might have found a little score. Got this brand new uh, Lawrence Eye Finder H2O. Uh, some kind of hiking GPS. Right here for 26 bucks. And on Amazon, we got a used one going for 234. And on eBay, there was also a used one for 130 that had a watcher, two watchers on it. So I don't know. It's worth the uh, risk for 25 bucks, brand new sealed. So I'm gonna put this on Amazon for 200 bucks. All right, guys. So let's hit Marshalls, and after that. We got a Ross, so let's see what we got. Marshall's is smoking crack. 100 bucks for the Jordan 29. Got the Kobe 10 flights, size seven and a half. So these are a men's size for 39 bucks. So that's actually not a bad price. I think these are usually about 70, which makes them not worthwhile. But for 40 bucks, this could be a pickup for resale. I'm ready to go, but man, there's a Steinmart there. Should I go to Steinmart? Yeah, let's do it. It's not even a joke this time. We're really going to Steinmart. I'm sure they got some great stuff in here. Man. Leave it in the comments below if you guys want to see me hit 10 Steinmarts in one day. <laughs> Look at this Ross. The fine brick and the columns. Very upscale. Well, we got plenty of the uh, Air Pythons. Big ass Kobe's. Got the Michael Jackson Thriller pants. $13.99. All these columns and bricks. Not a damn thing. Garbage. All right, up next, Salvation Army. So we got this Regina steamer value six pack shampoo four bucks right here recently one of these sold for a hundred bucks uh, 75 that's a four pack looks like you can get upwards to a hundred bucks for this so four bucks definitely picking this up all right up next we got that play-doh's closet Alright man. Thank you man. <laughs> Yo, that experience just hurt my soul. Alright, up next, 
Goodwill store and donation center. So we got a Ford Mustang uh, OEM CD, six disc CD player, five bucks. They're all going for over a hundred. So for a five dollar investment, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. Yeah, I sell these kind of radios all the time. There's always people looking to replace their broken units or even dealerships ordering them for me to install them for uh, cheaper than they can get them new. Got these two pairs of these Wiggies Lamalite boots. These look to go, both pairs are new. They look to go over 200 bucks each, so I'm going to pick them up for 35 These two pairs of Wiggies probably easily made up for those Concords. I got two pairs for 35 bucks. These Wiggies. There's a similar pair on their website right here for 210. So, and these have like these over boots that come with them as well. So I think this is a pretty good score. I think I could get at least 150 each. And I put 35 into each of them. So 300 bucks out of 70 not bad all right time to celebrate with some chipotle oh yeah all right next up value village all right guys so we got one of my favorite finds sony high eight right here This is the this is the CCD TRV67 uh, selling for 100 plus, pretty easy. So 16 bucks, well worth it. All right, so as I'm coming home, I'm passing by this same Goodwill I was at earlier today. This should be interesting. Obviously, timing is everything, so let's go back in here and see if anything else showed up. Picked up that Bose Wave radio, 50 bucks. The guy told me they had just brought it out about two hours ago. Um, I can make, I can sell that thing for easy uh, 180 or so. Uh, it also has the base to it with the auxiliary ports. So, yeah, I mean, definitely good pickup. Easy, easy hundred bucks, if not more profit. That's why you got to keep going in and out of these stores. I mean, timing's everything. You saw the timing with those Jordan Concords, man. Ten seconds, I would have had those too. So, yeah, guys, keep hope alive.